Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's advent calendar unboxing is the By Terry 2020 advent calendar. So this one is called Twinkle Glow advent calendar. It's limited edition as all advent calendars kind of are. It's super duper reflexive, so I'll try not to reflect too much on you there. Um, but yeah, they've gone with the kind of red and gold, more traditional, colour scheme for the advent calendar. So if you've watched the reveal video you may have a bit of an idea of what's in here but there were certain things I wasn't as sure about when I made that video so obviously being able to unbox it for you I'll be able to show you everything in a little bit more detail. I've also not put any lipstick on because I'm pretty sure there's more than one lip product in here so I might as well give that a try for you rather than just putting whatever on. So this calendar retails at £150 but the value is much higher higher. If you're new to buy Terry however you can get 20% off so that's what I did when I got this. They also have an awful lot of offers on their website so I bought this myself and they were doing an offer where and I think this offer is still on depending on when you're watching this video where you got mini um, versions of their kind of famous products. You got to pick one or two depending on how much you spent. There was also an offer on where if you bought two full-size products one of which the advent calendar works for this you got a full size of their Rouge Expert click stick in rosy flush. Now I think if you do it now you get a full size eyeliner but the point I make is they're really generous with their offers and stuff. I also got a couple of samples and like sample sachets so you'll probably end up with more than just the calendar if you order it from by Terry themselves. So here it is. We've got 24 days, we're going to open them together one by one. Okay, so day number one, we are just over here. And it is a lip product. So this is a full size product and incidentally if you want to know exact details on how much each individual item is worth, check out my by Terry reveal video and it will show you because I worked out in that video exactly how much each item was worth but this is the By Terry Lip Expert Matte and it's in the shade Vintage Nude like I said it's in a full size I'm going to apply it for you now so there is Vintage Nude it looks like a nice kind of wearable everyday type of shade um, I'll be interested to see how long this one lasts and whether like it could be worn under a mask or something without it coming off because that's the real test obviously at the minute is if you happen to be going out for dinner or something and you want to wear a lip colour you want to be able to take your mask off without your lipstick going everywhere. Um, so if you'd be interested in a bit of a wear test I think I'm going to find a couple more of these in the calendar so that is definitely something I could look at doing for you if you're interested. Day number two. So day number two, we've got the Balm de Rose lip product. Now the lip product comes in a balm and it also comes in this kind of lighter, glossier version that we've got here. So this is the kind of mini travel version of this. I'll put the exact name of this on the screen, but it is one I've used quite a lot before. It leaves your lips with just like a nice, sort of light super super light pink glossy sheen to them but it is super moisturizing and it's super easy to apply because it is just in that type of applicator so I do actually prefer the Balm de Rose lip balm in the pot but if I'm out and about that is a lot more convenient. Day number three. Ooh, so this is something I was excited to uh, get hold of. So I wasn't sure on the exact size on this one because it didn't tell you on the website, but this is the Brightening CC Serum in the shade Immaculate Light, which is a white rose shade. This is a seven mil size. So I have heard amazing things about this CC cream and it comes in a couple of different shades, but as with a lot of By Terry products, they are pretty pricey. So I am extremely happy that I've got this seven mil size to have a go with just to see if it's kind of worth it, but it's supposed to make your skin really kind of glowy and healthy looking. And with it being a CC cream, it should also be super light and improve your skin over time. I do use um, a CC cream at the minute. I use a Borean that's, um, Borean's CC cream that's what I'm wearing right now and I love it so I'm happy to see how it compares with the by Terry one and day number four is here we have a skincare product 
So I was dying to try one of their skincare products. So this is the Balm de Rose Micellar Water. This is in a 30 ml size. Again, a super pricey micellar water in the full size. And I'm intrigued just to see how good this actually is. But it's lovely, even in this kind of 30 ml size, it just looks really, really nice. I just nailed the packaging, that's what I'm trying to say. The packaging's awesome, I think. Okay, so day number five, we are over here. So this is not that easy to kind of get out of the packaging. This is the Crayon Coal Terribly. So it's the black print, so it's black, and it's a full-size precision waterproof eyeliner. And it is a proper black. It's like a nice classic coal. Day number six here. I have to say, I have unboxed an awful lot of advent calendars. This has been one of the most challenging to actually get the items out of the box. So this is the mascara Terribly. So this is in a travel size. Now this particular mascara is said to have a growth complex. So over time using this mascara is supposed to help your lashes to grow, which sounds amazing. If it actually works like that, that would be amazing. But you can actually buy this mascara in this travel size for 15 pounds. I really like that about By Terry, the fact that you can buy a lot of their products because they're so expensive in a travel size means you're not shelling out a lot of money if it isn't quite right. So it kind of makes it a bit more accessible and I like that a lot. So we are now on to day number seven over here. Another full size. This is a Balm de Rose lip scrub. It's in a 10 mil full size. It comes with a kind of lip applicator like that. And it smells like Balm de Rose, like rose as you would expect. And this is just a lip scrub really. Obviously exfoliate your lips, make them look a bit nicer. And I do use a lot of lip scrubs just to try and sort of treat the lips before applying my lip balms and ultimately lipsticks. I've not tried that uh, lip scrub, but I have high hopes given it from by Terry. Day number eight over here. Ooh, so we've got another full size lipstick. Again, it's in the same formulation as the one that we got in day number one. Now this is in the shade My Red, number 10. And you can just see how kind of glossy that looks. So this is the matte version of the lip colour. Vintage Nude is also in the matte colour. I believe there is also a shiny version of the same lipstick in one of these other days, we shall see. So then we are up to day number nine. So this kind of circular one up here. I like how they're all kind of different shapes and sizes and things. I finally ripped the calendar. I have to try to be so careful. So we've now got a little compact. This is the Sun Desire Compact Expert Dual Powder. So it's in a little compact like that with a little mirror. And these, I believe, are a kind of highlighter and a kind of blush duo. So it's two kind of different colours next to each other. Again, in a bit of a travel size. Then day number 10, we are back over here. So this is another one from the Balm de Rose range. This is the All Over Oil, which is even more pricey than the Micellar Water because it is an all over oil. So you can use it on your hair, you can use it on your body, you can use it on your nails. And it smells of Balm de Rose as you would expect. Um, so I think these products will be really nice to kind of use together. Day number 11 here. So we have got the Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. So this is by Terry's Primer. Now I've not used it, I'm not actually a massive primer user, simply because or I'm not a massive user of primer, <laughs> that makes more sense. But that's simply because I don't really wear foundation all that often, I tend to wear like I said like a CC cream or what have you. But I'm interested in this one because it's from the Hyaluronic range. Now their Hyaluronic powder I love, I've just recently bought a full size of it, so I'm intrigued to see how this primer fares. So this is in a 15ml size. Day number 12 and it's this kind of squarish box here. This is the Balm de Rose hand cream. So obviously using a lot of hand cream 
at the minute with us washing our hands even more than before and yeah it smells of balm de rose so i think so far i can pretty safely say if you like balm de rose and the balm de rose range this is going to be a great option for you because there's so much from the range here a lot of it in mini size but it's a great kind of chance to use a lot of that range which is expensive let's be honest okay so day number 13 just here and this is just like a small item it's one of the sachets so this is the Balm de Rose face cream in a two gram sample sachet. So it's just a little sample to try it. Not the most exciting, but one way of trying it, I guess, but it only kind of give you the one use. So it doesn't give you long to kind of make up your mind, but there we go. Day number 14 is just here. And this is a little brush. So this is what the brush looks like. I don't think you can kind of buy it in this size. I think you'd have to kind of get it in a set or something. Um, but it is just a little, I guess, powder brush. So it might fit in quite nicely with some of the little kind of compacts. Um, yeah, not much more I can say about that. I've never sort of seen that one before. Day number 15, just up here. And let's have a see. So this is the powder I was talking about. So it's a Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. Now this is actually in a little sample size. It is just a clear powder. If you buy it in, well, it's, I say it's a clear powder. It's a white powder actually, but it kind of, when it applies to the skin, it goes on clear. They do actually do this in some different shades now, but you have to buy that obviously in a full size. But in the calendar, you're just getting zero colorless, it's called. And it's just brilliant. When you put it on, it's got like a little bit of a super light cooling effect. Nothing dramatic, but it just cools the skin a little bit. It sets your makeup perfectly. It's completely untraceable but you just can't see it and I find it blends in really really well with my skin obviously I've got quite a light skin type so perhaps if you've got a darker skin tone you might be a bit better with one of the darker colored ones but this is the one they've included in here it's also really nice to kind of set the under eyes with as well I've got day number 16 just up here And that is another sachet that has just slid down to the bottom of the calendar. So this is the Balm de Rose Glowing Rose Mask. It looks like this is just like a two gram or quite a small size. So only enough to apply uh, one treatment of the mask. But it says apply generously two to three times a week on dry skin, avoiding the eye contour, leave on until the crackling effect stops. Crackling effect, now that just makes it a bit more exciting slash scary. Um, Massage skin and rinse with water until the bubbles are completely removed. Okay, so they've just made this way more exciting than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna be your kind of standard rose mask. I wasn't expecting a crackling effect, so that sounds interesting. Day number 17 up here. Ooh, I think this is our other full size lip product. So this is in the shade Gypsy Chick. So this one isn't as pigmented and it doesn't sort of dry down as much. This is a shine lipstick. So it's the By Terry Lip Expert in Shine. Then we've got day number 18 just over here. So this is a Hydra Bronze Shaker Spray all over water mist and it's called Tea to Tan. No transfer, sheer infusion, dual matte and satin tan effect. This is in a 30ml size and it's actually not got a spritz on it so I'm not really sure how... Oh shaker spray, I don't know why, yeah shaker spray? I suggest it comes out in like a spray formulation? I don't know. Um, but it is just this kind of bronzing liquid so I'm intrigued to see what that one's going to be like, let me know if you've used it. I'm not really quite sure exactly what I'm supposed to do with it. I assume it's like an instant tan effect, maybe for like a night out or something, whenever they start happening again. Okay, so day number 19 up here. So this is a different kind of lip product. 
in a different kind of formulation. So this is the Balm de Rose Tinted Lip Care. So it's almost like a tinted version of their lip balm, but it's in a kind of chubby crayon design. And it leaves this nice kind of almost bronzy golden hue. Smells of Balm de Rose and is in this little crayon and then you just twist it at the bottom if you want to get a bit more product out so that looks like a fun one and that is a full size as well day number 20 here and it's another cc cream but this time again seven mils but this time it's in sunny flash which i think is a more kind of golden color than the other one we got there should be something for everyone in the sort of two shades they've selected for this calendar. Day number 21 is this sort of little stick shaped one here. Ah, so we've got the By Terry Ombre Black Star and this is in Bronze Moon. So this is the eye crayon. That's kind of super reflective in this like dark brownie kind of brownie golden shade i'm gonna say it's not super dark um, but it is super reflective it catches the light it dries down it's easy to apply um, i have actually already purchased this um in this mini size it's 15 pounds for this i think it's their best selling shade in this sort of eye crayon but it's really good it's like transfer proof it just dries down doesn't crease or anything it's a really really good eye color i would like to have seen it in a different shade but that's just because i already own it but um i can totally recommend it i'm very happy with that and i would like to try more colors from the range day number 22 so we're back up here another sort of circular product oh i think i know what this is so here we have the By Terry Balm de Rose Lip Balm. This is in a full size. So this is a 10 gram full size and this retails at 40 pounds. So it's a proper kind of holy grail lip balm, but it is expensive. And if you've watched a lot of the other advent calendar unboxings I've done, a lot of calendars this year have included a sample three gram size, but this is the first calendar I've seen that's got an actual full size, but that is, absolutely worth it for me i will totally get through that and it is a brilliant brilliant lip balm it's also great as like an overnight lip balm as well day number 23 just down here so this is the by phase makeup remover again from the balm de rose range so they do actually recommend you using this by phase eye makeup remover and the micellar water cleanser and the oil in a kind of sequence so I'm intrigued to see how well they all kind of work together as described um, and it's by phase because it's got like the oil and stuff in there so if you shake it up it all just kind of mixes together again in a 30 mil size okay so day number 24 and our last day in this calendar now this i very nearly bought and then i saw it was in the calendar and that actually i'm going to get it anyway so i don't need to buy it so this is another of by Terry's mascaras and this is the Lash Expert Twist Brush. Now what's really cool about this mascara is it has on the top a little twisty function so you can twist to decide how thick the brush is. So you can kind of have it at one setting to coat the lashes and lengthen them and then another setting to really apply that kind of thickness to them. And this is in black, it's a full size, master black they call it and it's worth £25, so I'm very excited that that's in there. Lashes should be looking amazing come Christmas Day. So let me know in the comments what do you think of the By Terry 2020 advent calendar. Will you be picking this up? Are you a By Terry fan? Is there anything that wasn't in this calendar that you think I need to try from the range? Because I'm really enjoying the By Terry products just lately. Um, if you enjoy advent calendar unboxings and advent calendar reveals and you want to check out my advent calendar playlist, I will link it at the end of the video there's like over 50 from this year alone if you want to see like what's out on the market or if you you know still hunting for that perfect advent calendar for yourself then definitely check that out i'd love it if you give me a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content i'm producing and please subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live thank you so much for watching bye guys